Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to learn how to make a customized resin set like this, please make sure you stick around, hit the notification button and hit the bell, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright you guys, I'm not going to talk too too much throughout the video, it's more so just like a resin with me type video, but I will be explaining a couple of things because I do have a couple of techniques um, that I do that I feel is a little different as far as my resin. I like to put my B first and then put my A. I know initially when you think of it, it's like, alright, you're supposed to put A first then B. That's what I was doing at first and then I realized it was so much more easier to just mix it when you put the B in first because it's not as thick and then put your A directly inside of your B and it doesn't stick to the sides of the, um, the cups like it does as if you were to do it with A and then B. Also, another little thing that I like to use, I like to use a torch gun instead of the heat gun. Um, the torch gun, to me, it just it just gets the job done nice and quick. As you can see, I have air bubbles in my resin, but I normally don't mind because I end up using the torch gun to go ahead and get all of them out. So throughout this, you'll see me using a torch gun just to get all of the bubbles out. Now for the drink coaster, you are going to want to do it halfway. You don't want to do it all the way in for the bud scraper. Um, you want to do that halfway as well because you're going to need to put resin on top of it after you get done putting your logo or whatever sticker that you decide to put on your set.
now right here you'll see i'm putting popsicle sticks underneath my mold this is because my table is kind of uneven and on top of that um i've been using this mold for a while i have multiple different tray molds but um this was really like my last time being able to use this one because you'll see later on in the video it ended up getting stuck and i had to i had to make my magic work to go ahead and get it to come off but i'm not going to be able to use this mold anymore after i got done with this set but it's it kind of like opens up so where it opens up excuse me the resin tends to come out some so this kind of just evens out my resin so that's all i'm doing i'm just evening out the tray I get asked quite often how I get the smoky look when I do my trays. All I do is add drops of the alcohol ink. I normally use um, toothpicks, but at the moment I didn't have none around, so I just use the end of a popsicle stick, and you just want to like move it around, manipulate the alcohol ink and just make it your own it's art so once you get done it kind of like molds itself into its own form so yeah that's what you'll see me doing with the rest of the set i'm just taking my time to add the alcohol ink i'm adding some more popsicle sticks right here because i needed it to still level out because it was trying to overfill after i start moving um moving the alcohol ink around so after i get done doing that like i said you'll see me doing the same thing with the other parts of the sets i don't know if anybody's wondering exactly what all the pieces are but this part right here is a bud scraper um this is for you to scrape your bud instead of using uh you know cards business cards atm cards that right there is a drink coaster um the one beside it of course is the ashtray and the two things beside that is the bud holder and the bud holder top Right now I'm just pinching out the air bubbles um, sometimes they like to be air bubbles that hide like in the corners of the mold so right now I'm just making sure all the air bubbles out and I use the torch as well to kind of just help me to get them to pop
so this is the part that I was mentioning where I said the mold ended up getting stuck to the tray um, you can see that little piece that got stuck to it I'm just using um, one of the Cricut tools that I had that came with my Cricut maker and I'm just using it to kind of just pick through it if you don't have one of those you can use a toothpick you can use anything that kind of got like a sharp point to it and just carefully get it out because you don't want to scratch your tray only reason why I'm not too much worried about it um, is because I have to put a whole nother clear coat of resin on top of it so I got pretty much all of it everything out of it it had like one little small part that I could and get out of it but you couldn't see it once I did the resin on top of it and that's it you guys i hope that this video was helpful to you all please make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification bell and i'll see you on the next one